Rebuilding this 1928 Ford Roadster was supposed to be a leisurely project for Morris. However, after he learned about the philanthropic journey of a roadster in the States, he decided to get his engine running. Well, the vehicle we built in 18 months, it, it was no longer a retirement project. Uh, when I read about the guy in the U.S. having done it, I asked my wife if maybe somebody in Canada should try something like this. And with that, the Canadian Wish Cruise was born. Inspired by his American mentor, they plan to drive over 1,300 kilometers. Uh, we've started from Port Alberni, and we're going to be driving all the way to uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia. And it's going to take approximately 12 to 16 days. If that wasn't feed enough, they have decided to raise funds for Make-A-Wish in honor of their granddaughter's health journey along the way. When Marley was born, she had uh, some difficulties and uh, it, th there was a time when we didn't know physically how she would do. Well, today, because of the Stollery Hospital and an operation that she had when she was five years old, um, she can run, she can jump. After experiencing years of painful and terrifying brain seizures, Marley and her family were given strength and support from Make-A-Wish. Marley's wish was actually to meet Tinkerbell. She's a huge Tinkerbell fan, loves fairies and princesses, but it really, the, the kicker, the kicker was to meet Tinkerbell. And so she and her family went to Disney World in 2012, and they stayed at the Give Kids the World Village. Do you remember when they came to tell you that you got your wish? How excited were you? It's my good. After years of suffering, having a chance to feel special and to be treated like a princess was so meaningful for Marley's family to witness. We got to enjoy Marley's Make-A-Wish uh, when we were in Florida and we thought, you know, what better way than to give a little bit back because we were so impressed with that whole organization. A lot of times uh, life gets in the way and uh, this is a diversion. It's, it's a really a time that they can look back with fond memories and it was just a, a fun time that probably wouldn't have happened without the help of Make-A-Wish. Are people looking at you like you're crazy? It's yeah. the, the vehicle, I'm assuming it doesn't have air conditioning yeah. and it's the hottest month of the year. Yeah. What has been kind of the reactions you've been getting? Uh, crazy. <laughs> Actually everybody's been really, really, really good with it. Um, we've had lots of sponsors and um, it's just been incredible. People are yelling off the bridges and just hollering out the windows and taking pictures. It's very small inside. <laughs> I haven't found my ankles for the last two days from all the heat, but it's worth it. I just take a look at Marley's face and that's just our inspiration right there. We just keep on going. And now, three years after surgery and seeing the smile on her face, it's easy to see why this lady is the inspiration for making more wishes come true. Marley's doing really, really well. She's doing really well. She had surgery three years ago, and uh, yeah, she's come a long way since then. She's definitely our little angel on earth. In Sherwood Park, I'm Bianca Jade.